I think that this might be my new favorite movie of the year. Wow, it, thank you. It was so good. So let's talk about some of my favorite things, which are the music, the characters, because they're actual real characters and real personalities, the production design, that one specific scene where Joker is sitting on the ground with knives in a circle yes. around him in like baby, uh, baby outfits. Yeah, there's onesies. Onesies, the and I don't even know what else is there because it goes by so fast, but it's yeah. so awesome. So let's talk about all of this. Well, the you know the Joker knife circle, as we call it. I uh, came to set really early that day, and spray painted all the ha ha ha's on the wall, and then laid out all the knives. There's knives and roses and guns and glasses and beer bottles uh, and cell phones. It it took me a couple hours to lay all that stuff out. I kind of did it myself. You don't have a person for that. A we have design? a lot of people for that, but it's kind of. When you're trying to do something insane like that, it, it's hard to explain. You know, part of that circle, they're, they're piano keys. So they're like piano keys with the, uh, you know, with the chords from the piano ripped out. Um, it's, it, was, it was a pretty elaborate setup, but, you know, I love, I love detail. I love getting my hands dirty. I love doing things like that. I do I even want to know how you guys found all of those empty bottles. Did you have your entire cast and crew drink all of the beer so you can have the bottles? I, you know what, they probably went around with some trash cans, I hope. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. <laughs> so you actually, you wrote and directed this film. Yes. How did you come up with all of the crazy dialogue that you needed for this film? Because there are so many great witty lines. There's, you know, it's interesting, you know, we wrote the script, I wrote the script, we rehearsed it with the actors, and then a lot of it was on set where you make these little discoveries, I'd throw a line at them, or they'd come up with something on their own. And it's those little accidents, those little fun moments that kind of end, seem to end, always end up in the movie. Jared Leto actually mentioned, because I asked him, he said, sometimes it just gets crazy and I don't even realize what I'm going to do in the scene. And so I asked him, like, how much improvising do you get to do or do you stay to the script? And he's like, the Joker just does whatever. The Joker does do pretty much whatever. There, there are scripted pages for him and it's like, you know, Jared, just keep it in this neighborhood. That would kind of help me out, you know, because I got to cut this thing together at some point. But I mean, he really did lose himself in this character. And, you know, what a courageous thing to do as an actor because it's been done so well in the past. But, you know, you can't just lock the Joker up away from forever. You know, you had to take him out and, and we updated him for 2016. And Margot Robbie is amazing yeah, in this movie. she crushed it. She crushed it. Seriously, probably, if not, maybe the best part of the film because she really takes on this character and yeah. she's, it's so different than who she is in real life. Exactly. I mean, that's, that's why I wanted her for this movie because, you know, I looked at her work and everything she did and I realized that, that she was a chameleon. And then I talked to her on, on Skype for 20 minutes, didn't have a script, and she committed. She decided to do the movie off of that which means she's just as crazy as the character she plays, but everything really worked out, but she becomes Harley Quinn. She, it, it's, you know, how, you know it's, I, I feel like it's the birth of a legend. Based off of the trailer alone, you can see how much effects and, and music yes. and costumes and props and everything that goes into the movie. Yes. What were the vibes on set, on and off camera? You know, the actors had a lot of fun. I had to, I had to kind of be dad and you know focus on uh, on the day and getting everything everything moving. Um, you know, as a director, it's terrifying to work on something that big. You know, if you think about um, all the work you have to do and all the decisions you have to make, you know, you can get stage fright. So I would just take it a day at a time, just try and get my work done for that day. But the cast, I mean, they got to have all the fun off set and on set. For watching this interview as always don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think in the comment section below for the next made in hollywood interview click right here do it click it <laughs>